So you might be trying to go ahead and figure out how to change your passcode on your particular MacBook. Now, whether you have a MacBook, iMac, Mac mini, whatever you have, it's basically the same exact process for the most part. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go and make your way over into your Apple logo in the top left corner. So when you do that, you want to go and click on system settings, which is right underneath the about this Mac option. And then this page is going to come up. Now, what you're going to want to do here, so if I go and zoom in for a little bit, you're going to see a couple of different options that basically come up. What we're going to want to do is we want to scroll down on this side until we see a little option that says touch ID and password. So there's a little touch ID and password option right there. You want to go ahead and click on it. And then this next page is going to come up. Now, this is where you can change a lot of different things on your particular Mac. So for one, if you have a fingerprint setup or touch ID at all, you can go ahead and modify that right here. So you can go ahead and tap on this, like add a fingerprint option, and you can change your fingerprint here too if you need to. But this option right here, which is a login password to set for this Mac, you can go and click on change if you wanna change this password. Now what it's going to do is it's going to ask you for your old password. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna type in the old password that you have. So whatever your old password is, you wanna go and type that in. Now your new password, right? Whatever your new password is, you wanna go and set that in right here. So from your old password, the first original one you had, you wanna type in your new password, and then you want to go and type in that new password that you have again. So then once you do that, you can go and basically create a password hidden if you want to, which you don't really have to. But then whenever you're ready, you can click change password. And as long as all this stuff looks good, then you'll be able to change it. As you can see, none of this stuff looks good for me. But if you want to, you can change this whichever way you want to. And that is basically how it's done. It's a super, super basic process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.